Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Heroes Trails of the Third. Today, we're in the Zeiss Central Factory because we're actually going through Agate's door today. We're pretty much trying to find uh, Tita and Erica and Dan. There's some place inside this facility. Apparently, they got an elevator, but nobody knows where they went to. So, we're on the first floor. We might as well stop at the bottom level in the basement and, uh, Maybe somebody saw something here? I mean, you never know. If you're gonna test out a robot, maybe we do it in the basement? Eh, who knows? Oh. Oh! <laughs> really? Oh, well, that's no good. I kinda feel bad for you. Oh. Um, just telling her? Expressing your feelings to her? Call me crazy, but that's what how I would express my feelings to a girl. Why is this so complicated? Why is it so hard to just tell somebody that you like them? Oh wait, was there something here that I didn't see? Oh, okay, yeah, um, kind of already figured that one out there. Let's see, uh, can we go through here? No, we can't! Locked door, my greatest weakness! Oh, it's Faye! Hey, how are you doing? Oh, yeah, we were. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. But hey! Yeah, we heard from your little boyfriend, Rudy, over there, who, um... doesn't exactly have the balls to tell you how he feels. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, so I guess that she's, like, training you or something. You know, not only does the music here remind me of, um, Breath of Fire 3, but a lot of, like, the stuff here reminds me of Breath of Fire 3 as well. So you don't just have to use the elevator here, you can also use the stairwell if you want to. Um, it takes about the same amount of time to use the stairwell as it does to use the elevator, so, eh, might as well use them interchangeably. Oh. Okay, well, I can tell you he's in the church, kind of praying that this whole place doesn't explode because of Erica being a batshit insane. But it looks like uh, her coming to her senses isn't going to happen anytime soon. Oh. Really? Really? That's not exactly how you train someone. Wow. Um, yeah, that's not illegal at all. Like, seriously, lady, just because they're young doesn't mean that they have to do manual labor. I mean, you know, some young people actually have a brain in their head and can actually, you know, think for themselves. They might even be smarter than an older person. So maybe they should be researchers or something, lazy bitch. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, so maybe you should hop to it? Oh, really? Oh. Hmm. Maybe it's because Erica and Dan and Tita are kind of in hiding or something? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Oh, hey, it's the workshop. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. I don't know how you researchers could actually work with her. Like, she's batch insane. Uh, anybody else in here? I don't see anybody, so let's just be on our way. Since we're over this way, close to the uh, stairwell anyway, we'll go ahead and use it. There we are. Are we at the fourth floor now, I think? Yeah, okay. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, hey there. Oh, huh. really? Huh. A plant capable of soothing people. Hmm. Huh. Something very similar to that just got legalized in Nevada pretty recently, actually. <laughs> Not that I've ever done that. I actually, honestly, I haven't. I've never done anything like that. I've never even, like, smoked a cigarette. Like, I'm a really good boy. I just drink, you know? But who doesn't? I mean, come on. Oh. Yeah. Um, I don't know if he should be making, like, a Tito robot. That's pretty damn creepy, if you ask me. Oh, okay. Huh. Uh, let's see. What else do we got going on in here? Oh, a clinic. Oh, hey there. You don't have a uh, liberal news for me today? Oh, 
Yeah. Oh, poor guy. Oh. Yeah, um, that's where we've seen him pretty recently, actually. Okay. Off to the fifth floor we go. Let's see what we got going on in here. Oh, well, it's just the roof, but there's nothing else going on out there, so I really don't care. This is the cap hole, which, or the cap L, I guess, I don't know. And it has tons of information in it. So what I'm going to do is show off uh, it during the end slate. So if you want to read what's in the cap L, stick around after, like, the real episode and read it. Because it'll take uh, quite some time to actually read all the stuff in there. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, kind of, sort of. <laughs> yeah, I thought that uh, Professor Russell made the cap but apparently it was Erica's idea, and um, after losing a bet, the professor had to kind of hand it over to her. That kind of sucks. Oh, well. Yeah, no kidding. Where are they? Oh, hey, it's Dan. We're gonna have a rooftop battle up here? I don't see the um, orbital gear, though. Where's that at? Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. You're not as crazy as your wife, are you? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Gundolf and Wong were telling us that. Oh, okay, if you say so, but also Gundolf and Wong told us that just last episode. Sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully not! Hopefully somebody has their screws on tight here. Oh, yeah, you know, the whole family's working together. How bad could that possibly be? Oh, that's great. You guys are uh, teaching her pretty well. Whoa! Oh, Agate doesn't seem uh, happy about all of this. Yeah, it was like a fandy family bonnie experience. I mean, come on, Agate. Oh, that is true. I mean, it could be dangerous. You are developing a weapon with, like, machine guns and stuff and everything. I mean, what if something backfired or exploded or something? Well, what is it? Well, yeah, I trust her. Trust her with my life. Of course I trust her. We've saved the world with her twice. Where the hell have you guys been? Oh. Okay, what's that? Yeah, but it's not like we were alone or anything. Joshua and Estelle and a whole bunch of other people are there with us. Um, saving the world? Come on now. Really, Agate? Really? <laughs> you were trying to achieve stuff. I mean, come on now. Oh, that's true. I thought that she was pretty crappy when she first joined us, too, but she's actually really damn good. Oh. Oh, if you say so, I get. Oh, well, great. Of course you do. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Thank- Thankfully, no kidding. Yeah, what's going on here? Okay. Spill the beans! Is somebody in a JRPG actually going to tell us something? I'm shocked! Yeah, Renee, the little bitch. Ugh. You know, if there was ever a kid... Okay, whenever I was, like, really young and in school, if there was ever a kid that, like, was in trouble or something, or, like, was one of the bad kids, you know? Like, my parents would not let me be friends with them. You know, they were a bad influence, and it just wasn't done. That was just the end of the frickin' story. And here's Dan and Erica being like, well, Tita wants to be friends with this murderous dark angel of death, and that's perfectly fine! Like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Come on now, get a clue! Ugh! Yeah, as well you should be. That's whenever you know, you become a parent, and you tell your child, NO! 
accept! <laughs> oh, God. It's like Worst Parents of the Year awards going on here. Yeah, don't exactly, you know, talk Renee down. Don't tell her, hey, what you're doing is awful and you're working for the enemy and you're destroying the world and you're killing innocent people. Don't do that! Just let her keep on going on her murderous rampage. It's fine! Give me a fucking break. <laughs> uh. The best that you guys can do for Renee right now is locking her up in an institution. Uh. How everybody is on Tita's side right now is beyond me. Really? Um, it's times like this when your kid is making really fucking stupid ass decisions that you really should treat her as a child and you should step up and be the parents. I mean, this is just me. I mean, just my opinion. Tell me if you think I'm wrong, but like for real, would you let your 12 slash 13 year old kid go off and be friends with someone like Renee? Like, hell no! This would never in a million years happen! And then the parents just seem fine about it. They're like, well, you know, my kid yelled at me, and she's walking all over me, and I can't tell my child no! God! How dumb can you be? Oh, Basement 5. No wonder we couldn't find you guys. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Um, she's been dead set on something else, too. Yeah, you know, we gotta do it for Tita, and we gotta do it for our Bracer Quest. Uh, he should come. I mean, he was part of the group that built the damn thing. Really? I know, seriously, except him as what? What the hell? What do they really think is gonna happen between a 12-year-old and, like, a 25-year-old? I mean, come on. Get a clue. These parents are morons. I mean, as much as I like Erica and Dan... They're not exactly the smartest, and you would think that they would be. They're scientists, for God's sakes. God, get some common sense. Man. Oh, hey there. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, that would actually make a whole lot of sense if it was an orbital cannon, but yeah, we're making this freaking robot. Lucky us. Wow, Tita, you didn't know that um, Erica wants to test Agate? You couldn't tell as she was screaming bloody murder at him in the uh, guild? And come on, use your ears. Man, nobody in this family is all that smart, are they? Uh, yeah, of course she is. Oh, well, that's nice of you. Oh, yeah, that is true. He's like, I'm not doing this because I want to. I'm doing this because I have to. <laughs> that's not exactly the nicest thing to say to someone. Oh, you have to get inside of this thing. Seriously? Oh, well, how's that? I wonder what the TX stands for, or is that like a Japanese character or something? I have no idea. Okay... Whoa! What's going on? What is- oh, hey, Erica! And what are you doing here? You've been spying on her? Uh, yeah, well, thanks. Sins. Wow, this girl's crazy. She reminds me of, like, the mother on Carrie. Like, just fucking batshit insane. Um, no. We invited Dan down here. Um, yeah, you really are kind of creepy. I mean, at first I thought that I kind of liked you and you were kind of funny, but the more I talk to you and the more murderous you get, the more I really don't like you. And who are these two? Oh, hey. Wow, everybody really is here, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, because he's actually a smart person. He doesn't just, like, close his ears and be like, I'm not going to listen to all this. I mean, come on now. Yeah.
We're not ignoring you. You're kind of impossible to ignore. Crazy Eyes. That's a pretty good name for her, Crazy Eyes. Just like that girl on um, Orange is the New Black. Such a funny show. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, well, great. I like how everybody else is like a regular laugh, and she is just like this evil, maniacal laugh. <laughs> I think she's like an arch villain or something. Whoa! Wait, hold on a second. You're going to have your daughter get into this vehicle and have Agate test it? And you have no problems with this? Are you kidding me right now? How dumb are you people? Oh my god! Why isn't Erica or Dan in the machine? Why is Tila, your 12 slash 13 year old daughter, in this frickin' machine to have a mock battle against a hard embracer? Oh yeah, what could possibly go wrong? My, my god, I just wanna strangle you people! What the worst parents ever! Ugh! Yeah, let's just put her inside the machine and then have Agate just go batshit crazy on the machine and it's a prototype we don't even know if like the thing's gonna explode or go out of control or anything let me put my daughter in there what the fuck is wrong with you you people are crazy Ugh. Uh. yeah yeah Wow, they're like completely oblivious. Wow, did Agate just say Dan's like sexually harassing him? Dan can sexually harass me, that's fun. Whoa. Huh? What the hell is she doing? She is like officially lost it. Was she like doing an S break or something? What the fuck is this? What the hell? Oh my god, no kidding. Her success dance? Oh my god. Like, is this for real right now? Like, can I just pick my mouth up off the floor right now of how absolutely, utterly retarded this is? Yeah. No one cares about your stupid success dance. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> Whoa! God! She's a nut job. That's your father. He's an old man. What the hell is wrong with you? Let me beat the crap out of like my paraplegic father over here, and then put my daughter in in some sort of mortal combat test with a bracer. What the fuck, lady? Holy shit! Oh, okay. So we're not actually getting into mortal combat. We're just racing. Um. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, how hard could this possibly be? It's like something out of Chrono Trigger, I guess. And you don't actually control the race. The um, the game takes over at this point. Whoa! Whoa, yikes! Wow, she could have, like, rammed right into Agate right there, so... I guess he's okay. Oh, jumping over the finish line. Wow. Yeah, that's kind of cheating, wouldn't you say? Oh. Um, no. Not really. What do we have to do here? What is this? Oh, barrels and squares and stuff? Okay. Oh. Okay. You know, okay, if all they have to do is race and then move barrels around and stuff, why couldn't Dan do this? Like, why couldn't Dan be the person to test against Tita? Why does Agate have to be a part of this? Like, I thought that it was a combat test or something, but apparently not. Oh, well, it looks like Agate won this time. Oh, well, that's good. Oh, well, no problem. Oh, yeah. It makes more sense now that it's not actually, you know, them fighting or anything. It's just kind of pushing stuff around and racing. 
Well, I can understand why Tina's the pilot. Makes a little bit more sense now. No shit. Like, I'm saying the same thing. Why is he even here? Why isn't Dan just pushing this stuff around? Oh. What is true for the next one? Oh, no. What's going to happen? What is it? A mock battle? Oh, no! With Tita as the pilot? Holy crap! Oh, this isn't gonna be good! Okay. Yeah. We have my daughter and a prototype fighting to the death with a bracer. But please, let no harm come to her! It'll be fine! But will it actually be fine? Find out next time. It's been Lindy Heroes Chosen Sky the Third. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stick around for the end slate. Have a good day.